I'm trying to figure out what this symbolizes. All right, made it to Taipei, Taiwan. I'm at the airport, about ready to leave. And the only thing that's on my mind is the fact that my pants keep falling down because I've lost like 15 pounds in the last couple months. Again, not sure what that symbolizes. Honestly, this is like the scariest thing to welcome you to Taiwan. This is the most showy bus I've ever seen. <laughs> Look at these colors, it's like a party bus. Just to give you an indication how completely out of sync I am with the time zone. I thought it was like eight o'clock at night here. And uh, I was like baffled, like why is it getting brighter and brighter at eight o'clock at night? It's eight o'clock in the morning. I have no clue what time zone I'm in right now. So I guess I got a whole day ahead of me, which is awesome, fantastic. That's the hotel I'm staying at, the Hyatt Grand Hotel. It is swank. I'm gonna show you guys later. And right there in the distance, Taipei 101. Pretty much, what the heck is that? This dog has a bag on him. I'm gonna say it. I'm gonna say it. Doggy bag. Look at that, Look at that building. Keeps going, keeps going. Holy, keeps going. That sucker is tall. Just tall. This is the worst skate ramp I've ever seen. Look how dangerous it is. Maybe it's not a skate ramp. Here's a sign at a bus stop. I'm trying to, you know, interpret what it means. It's like wave at cars that look like animals and they will wave back. Something like that. Holy moly. I don't know what that is back there that they're building but it is monolithic. <laughs> Maybe it's a League of Legends eSports stadium. Wouldn't <laughs> that be awesome? All right, I'm here having breakfast in a Taiwanese breakfast shop. This is one of those rare treats I ever get. Don't get to do this very often. It's so awesome. The problem is, is that the, the Chinese is in menu. Oh, did I just say that backwards? It's so early in one. The menu's in Chinese. And I can only read every other word because my Chinese ain't as good as it used to be. Huh? This is the goodies here, man. Look at this. All right, what you have in here in front of you is a doujiao sao bing with some egg in it and doujiao. So this is like a Chinese cooler. This is like a little uh, pastry thing and this is a uh, soybean. Very typical Chinese breakfast here in Taiwan. So delicious. So this beautiful thing just arrived. Got a long phone. Right. You guys probably had some that, right? You just got a, a little bit of like sauce in it, a little bit of vinegar, a little bit of that's gonna get that right there into that and the, into my mouth. All right, just had that delicious breakfast. I'm gonna show you guys how to make this stuff. Look at that. You have salving being like made right there, fresh on that grill. Oh man, right there. What's that? Oh, Oh man, look at that. So they grill the salvino on that, the top, and then they put it into the oven down there. Oh, look at that. He's, he's taking out some steam buns over there. My goodness, I can live next door to this place. I'd be here every morning. It's early in the morning. There's already people out here selling fruits, vegetables on the side of the street like that. Little shops around every single corner. I remember growing up, I heard this one statistic that Taiwan had one of the lowest unemployment rates in the world. Why? Because pretty much everyone found a way to get by, selling whatever trinkets, selling whatever groceries, open up a little mom and pop or a food stand, it didn't matter. The early morning market, you could pretty much see all the hustle and bustle of 
whatever grocery store, people hawking, whatever. This place is awesome. It frees up so many memories. People finding a way to get by selling whatever they can. This is the hotel I'm staying at. Hyatt Grand Regency. This place, grand. I'm used to staying in a motel six these days, you know, with doing a startup life. Hank really knows how to pick the hotels up. Ooh, sorry. Look at this grand foyer. Space in Taiwan's a commodity, so this place knows how to do it. This is a giant ball of, I don't know what, whatever it is, it's cool. I feel like, uh, it's like pushing around like Katamari. You know what I mean. Only the former world's tallest building, Taipei 101. Bam. What a view. It's amazing how much this place has developed. You just see skyscraper after skyscraper in every single direction. There's more over there, more construction going on over there. So it looks like my hotel is actually connected to the Taipei 101, so I'm gonna have to go walk on over there and chicka 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 it out.